icon on it and log in so I can open the door. It'll be quick, I swear. I just realized you may also not know what an envelope looks like. It's an old, old tech. It was like a piece of paper that you could put other pieces of paper inside. It's hard to describe. Like a square with a hole. Ugh, I'm not doing this right. Just find the computer. take the questionnaire on the computer. Otherwise, I can't open the door, or turn on the lights, or feed you. jobs is to continually assess your mental state, and as space sickness has been an issue for some other recent explorers, could you please identify yourself from this gallery of faces? Thank you. I'm super glad you're not crazy. My name is Martin Tweed, President and CEO of Kindred Aerospace. Thank you for joining the Pioneer Program. For almost 30 years, Kindred has been striving to help humanity expand beyond the confines of Earth. And I am excited to announce that many industry observers now consider us the fourth best interstellar exploration company. From our humble beginnings, manufacturing batteries and solar arrays for use in extreme climates, to our line of athletic footwear and chic survival apparel, we have been continually striving to drive humanity further. From the bottom of the ocean, and now you're ready to explore. Please walk downstairs and step into the teleporter while I will discombobulate you and then recombine you outside on this glorious new planet. So, uh, welcome to ARY-26. Seem to be, well, a planet at all, really. More detonation of rocks. This mission just got 100% more interesting and about 50% more lethal. To aid in your exploration, the Javelin is equipped with several small robotic drones that can perform basic scans of the world around you. Please launch them by opening the exterior hatch. of resources and important info. The javelin's pretty banged up, but you'll need to scan the exterior to confirm the level of bang up -edness. Do that now. Don't forget to continually scan your surroundings. 
The camera will transmit data back to Kindred HQ, which will send you blueprints for stuff. Then you can collect stuff to make the stuff in the blueprint. This appears to be an exterior panel from the javelin. It must have been knocked loose on landing. Charmingly fragile crystal structure. Ah, oh, yes, you've discovered Grob's hidden anti nutritional value. Puffer birds may not look it, but they're salty as hell. Aww, it's chilly. drugs, but good drugs, for healing, not fun. machine will copy you into its memory, delete your body, and then print a copy of it five feet away. Every time you return to the javelin, you automatically deposit any resources you were carrying. Anything you drop outside the javelin, however, will stay there until you go and grab it with your meat hands. It's a perfect... Ambient temperature, 112 degrees. Biosigns, nominal. Thank <laughs> you. 
I won't lie. I feel kind of bad. They're so cute and so full of juice. are intact, but empty. If you can find a local fuel source, you'll be able to get back home. If you can't, congratulations, you're home already. And that's where the lonely panel we found earlier belongs. The javelin is basically intact, but in need of minor repairs. If we ever want to relaunch. Oh, the cartographers found an alien alloy we could maybe use to repair the ship. Let me mark it. Nice work. You already have the required amount of carbon to craft a highly functional base level Nomad Plasma Pistol. The 3D printer inside the javelin is ready for your input. You can craft an upgrade, if you wanna. Remember the truth. Now you've got a weapon, the single most important tool for any colonizer. Ambient temperature, 112 degrees, biosigns, nominal. Nope. 
functioning correctly, but our initial scan said there should be no sign of intelligent life here at all, and that appears to directly contradict this idea. I will contact your superiors immediately. One moment, please. Oh. sports several spongy, porous pom-pom pods. This plant's berries are edible and slightly hallucinogenic. As with all edibles, take it slow. I have received an urgent message regarding the tower from our president and CEO, which is available for your viewing pleasure at the habitat. Please return as soon as you have a moment. These remains are a hell of a lot older than anything else we found on this planet. I am detecting a nearby organic compound which may be useful on our exploration effort. Please stop. attempt to survive on a hostile planet. Though I guess whatever you ate did improve your immune system, so, uh, you do you, I guess. I wouldn't step in it if I were you. You're gonna kill it. <laughs> 
hear it. Looks like some sort of transport device. If you turn it back on, we can kill you here and make a clone of you at another one you've activated. Or, sorry, I'm supposed to say teleport. to a nearby host creature in order to survive. has anchored itself to the environment. If you have a grapple, this is where you'd fire it. I'm working on a blueprint for you now. Like a normal puffer bird, but wrinkly. Attempt. 
The jump in front of you is beyond your current capabilities. But fear not. The cartographers have found a deposit of a rare fluid which could be used to synthesize the fuel for some basic jump thrusters. Please redirect your exploration efforts towards it. from the nearby tower at least 400 years ago. and your first instinct is to just pick it right up. I mean, I think we could use it as a sort of natural adhesive, so I guess we're flinging poop now? Before you jump in, Kindred says I need to read you a 400-page waiver absolving them of all responsibility. I speed read it. Hello. Is this thing working? Sorry, buddy. Hey, hey, yeah, you. Hi, I apologize for the one-sided nature of this message, but you know, communication across that system just makes it impossible to do anything else. <laughs> so I hear you arrived on ARY26, and I've uh, I've seen some of the preliminary data, and I have to tell you we have two questions. <laughs> you know, as you know, every planet we initially surveyed. Showed, uh, no sign of intelligent life. The only thing is, your planet is, uh... No. <laughs> wrong. Not wrong. Strange. Unusual. Um, I... We... We need to know what's inside that structure. Okay? Uh, how did that scanner miss it? Who built it? <laughs> I need you to dig up everything you can. We are searching for a new home for humanity. After all. I'm going to 
resources to print a brand new jump pack at the habitat. While untested and not necessarily safe, it is guaranteed to be amusing. Oh. 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 
an upgrade if you wanna. Meat scraps, fat and gristle finding its way to your trash? What a way! I see you have upgraded your jetpack. While not capable of full flight yet, it should still allow you to access previously unreachable locations with only minimal release of atmospheric pollutants. Your new best friend. Hmm. Ambient temperature 81 degrees. Biosign's nominal. Oh.
for meat. Charming.
nasty looking hole. I wonder what's in it. harder to kill. Bad news is you're harder to kill because most of your bones have been replaced with rock-hard space tumors. Good news, potential partners dig tumors. Or so I hear.
plasma you're looking for is inside this cave. Check it some seismic instability though. is accurate to 99.1%. So, as long as you don't die 49 more times, it's all good. The ultimate Earth Life Simulator. Create tiny human life forms by just adding... bonus of your lovely new jetpack is that you can use it horizontally to dodge a creature such as this one who might seem a little aggressive. <laughs> between you and it. Thank you. 
Javelin, I can start the repairs and unlock the first set of upgrades for your stuff.
the sun shines down on another beautiful day. It's a perfect time to hit the park and kick the bag around. But one can get frustrated when your natural legs only bend in the middle and only bend so far. What if you could maximize your flexibility performance to take your game to the next level? Now you can with Flexlimia. Flexlimia is a topical salve you apply to your appendages and in just four to six weeks you'll begin to notice a drastic improvement in your flexibility, up to 9,000%. The results are remarkable. Flexlimia should not be taken concurrently with Tostenda BT or any extremity extender, which can, in extreme cases, lead to Waffles Crazy Leg Syndrome. Side effects may include completely normal behavior, dry mouth, moist mouth, itching, redness, burning, dizziness, nausea, bladder blabber, reverse buck teeth, looping face palm, radioactive toenails, strawberry licorice lips, mild to severe farts, uncontrollable crunking or clowning, frequent thoughts of taking it easy, sudden hairy back baldness disorder, long annoying lists, impromptu bongo playing, dog bites, and temporary or permanent death. See website for details. The game has changed, and for the bendier. It's time to level up your flex with Flex Limia. Remember the good old days? Well, now you can live them again at Boomerdale. We are a 255 years and older residential gated colony in sunny central New Florida, located on beautiful DLC-1. Our ancient residents have access to a number of premium amenities like emotional support vegetables, cottage cheese and pizza stations, and much, 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 much more. Live out your final 1,000 years in comfort and convenience until your credits run out and your remaining biomass is recycled into sustenance for others. Tasty. <laughs> Embrace the freedom of the past, the old-fashioned way at Boomerdale, your future community of yesteryear. Superlicious mega morphological food paste from Suckage Farms. The universe's number four sustenance resource just got a whole lot juicier with platinum slurp plus neutral minerals power booster at 20 million. Rock, anatomically reconfigurable nano clusters simulate a virtually unlimited number of foods and beverages in your mouth and straight into your stomach for maximum satisfaction with exemplary convenience. With tastes, flavors, and textures like beef, chicken, corn, chocolate mousse, our candy, chili bacon burger, sunny mayonnaise, chives, baked seed, parmesan cheese, vanilla. A swirl, Bob John Donuts, Salisbury Snake, Pasta Paisano, Buffalo Banana Wings, Horse Biscuits, Pineapple Pizza Poppers, Lance Flea, Poutine, Wonton Fecal Surprise, Cucumber Shit Water, Nose Broth, and literally trillions more. Now oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's good flavor. Rock, the 100% artificial food replacement gel taking Earth by storm. Don't be a snob, eat with the mob. Replace your food with Rock. Rock is considered a plus nine retrocluster and is not cleared for non terrestrial territory. Do not under any circumstances be to Star Journal. See website for details. Meat scraps, fat, and gristle finding its way to your trash? What a waste! Or even worse, the toilet? Disgusting! Put a smile on your face using your meat waste with Meat Buddy, the reconstituted cuddly companion from Slimo. Just take your animal-based waste products, rotten flesh, and laboratory-thrown proteins and simply toss in the hopper. Choose the number and type of appendages, and in just four short fly chips, your new best friend will emerge, ready to cuddle. Meat Buddy, the snuggly playmate from Slimo. All Monkeys Micro Mills Plaza, the ultimate Earth Life Simulator. Create tiny human life forms by just adding sub zero radioactive water to a micro life powder packet and see your mall's inhabitants grow in just minutes. Watch them stroll, shop, and live as they autonomously move throughout their very own shopping complex, completely unaware of your presence. <laughs> Engage in fascinating examination of standard Earth activity or declare a Black Friday and send your shoppers into a violent bargain hunting frenzy where all only the strong survive! Yeah! Mini Mall Monkey's Micro Mills Plaza comes with environmentally stabilized shopping mall bio chamber. Three packets of powdered Micro Monkey's hand stirring stick from Lil Labs. Now the 
that the repairs are underway, let's start exploring. As stated in Employee Handbook Section 23498YA, you must catalog the flora and fauna of this planet, explore it in its entirety, and report back on its potential suitability for human settlement. At this point, we are unsure of the specific obstacles you will face, but the more data you provide to Kindred through your scanning tools, the more appropriate bloopers we'll be able to send you. On behalf of everyone in Kindred, both biological and autonomous, we wish you good luck! The cartographers have identified a series of very unusual structures at the core of this planet. While our earlier data indicated a rogue planet, this now appears to be incorrect. This is a radical mission-altering discovery, and while you must continue to catalog the planet, Kindred requests that you pay extra attention to anything that appears unnatural or constructed. I have placed a marker at a point of particular interest to our scientists. Unlike the typical bomba granites that you can carry, this one is far too big to lift. to climb that crystal formation. If you had a grapple, it'd be a piece of piss. Cake! Oh, my vocabulary database got scrambled in the, uh, no, I meant cake. It'd be a piece of cake.
Fat and gristle finding its way to your trap. Mm. Ambient temperature 81 degrees. Biosigns nominal. Oh! 